All right, test drive time, 1975 Ford F-150. You got the six cylinder in line under the hood here. Power steering, power brakes, AC compressor. Man, this thing looks pretty good. I love how it's lowered down. It's got a little stereo system in it. It's got the super cab. I like the tie downs on the side of the bed. It's gonna be a good test drive, guys. This one's three on a tree. So yeah, we got a manual here, and I'll, I'll show you how that works if you've never heard of it, but I know some of you have never seen it. <laughs> Detail pictures, financing, and shipping is at maplemotors.com. Be sure to hit subscribe and share this video. I'm putting on classic American muscle cars every week. And springtime's here, so we're going to have about 15 cars every single week pop up. All right, hit subscribe. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. We're going to check out the interior here. This one, look at the mileage. That's not actual mileage. There's no way. <laughs> Everybody says that too. You go to a big show or stuff that it'd be like actual mileage. How do you prove this? You got to have a lot of information to prove that. So we're not going with those miles. Obviously it's not. Interior looks good. Got a nice little stereo system back here. I don't know what that is, like two eights or something? Scar audio, got some seats in the back. I'm sure it sounds good in here in this cab. I can hear my echo already, so I know it's gonna be loud. Go ahead, start her up. I wanna let her warm up a little more. Three on the tree here. Gauges. Looks like we got oil pressure gauge working. We'll keep an eye on the water temperature and the gas gauge. I guess we have to stop and get any uh, gas today. Let's try the bowl. We'll cut that off, man. That sounds crazy. What about this one? I heard the compressor kick on. It's blowing good. Wipers. Wipers do work on this one. Turn signals. It's already starting to cool off. Blink in here. And. Is it not flashing? I don't guess it is. Maybe the bolt's out on this side. Little box. Missing the insert though. Okay. Nice train. Got a little base knob here. In good shape. Matte flooring. Horn, place your bets, guys. Do you think the horn works? We'll be trying it out here in just a second. Looks like the original tip gauge came up a little bit. All right, let's try that horn out. It does work. Does it work on this side? Yep. Good deal. Let's hit the road and see what else we can find on this ride. Okay, got the AC cooling. I'm gonna cut it off though, cause it's nice out. We're talking like 67 degrees out here today. Can't complain. Yesterday was a wonderful day too. Did a struggle Jennings video with him. Went to his house, checked out his car collection. He's a uh, local artist here in Nashville. Waylon Jennings' grandson. Pretty cool going over here checking out everything out. I do suggest watching that video when it comes out here on the channel. He's bought a lot of cars from Maple Motors. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. We'll go ahead and check the reverse. Yep, good. Right on down into first gear. Check our brakes. Oh, good. Got a Bluetooth up here, hands free. Waiting on the traffic to clear up. Guys, anything that I see that's wrong with this vehicle, I will let you know. Uh, explain it like this, I'm trying to show you what's wrong, not sell you a vehicle. I want you to know what you're getting. Here we go. softly shifting right now. Speedometer's coming up. She's straight. 
straight as an arrow going down the road. We're running about 35, 40 mile an hour now. Tight steering on this one. We've already got gas, so we don't have to stop and get any fuel today. Nobody's behind us. Let me get into those brakes. Brakes are pulling a little bit to the left. A little sticky there, and I'm kind of wondering if that'll change. Go ahead and stop. Regroup here. Give her a little bit of juice. Truck's a good driver though. Try to two foot these brakes a second. See if I can knock the dust off of them. Sometimes if it's got dust on them, they'll pull one way and then let go. Let's try it out now. Still pulling a little bit to the left. So yeah, it's grabbing a little bit more on this side here. down to see the light there. It's letting out good. I like the big old mirrors. See everything. Smooth power steering. You can tell whoever had this truck before tried to get all the bugs out. It does run good. picking out the flaws, chips, scratches, rust, and dents. Stick around to the end of the video so you know everything about it. And look in that description. It's full of important information. All right. I'll be right back. Now I see why it's got two different gauges. This one down here, 165, 170. This one up here, it just never stops climbing. It'll just keep going up. I popped the hood, I checked it out, and it was fine. So that's why they got two gauges here. I bet that one scared you. <laughs> scared whoever had this one before, that's for sure. Vitals are good. Here we go. I'm gonna take off, head back to the lot. Test drive has been going well. Engine temperature's good. Oil pressure's good. 
um yeah can't ask for much now i did see some rust on the lower portions of the doors and stuff you need to stick around to the end so you know about that uh i just want you to know everything about this now the undercarriage shot i couldn't get it was like this close to the ground on the front it would have destroyed my camera uh, so at the end of the video what i did is i kind of got around on all edges and stuff shoved the camera up under there and pointed it at the floors and stuff you also got a hundred detailed pictures for all of that at maplemotors.com and of course uh what i'm going to do now is i'm not going to be premiering all the videos so you won't be able to see exactly when they come out uh, I've had a lot of people calling. They want the video now and all this stuff because they see it up. Well, I might have to go back the old school way because I couldn't keep it like that. Now, I'll premiere my walk-arounds if I have them done in time so you can watch it and we can talk and the community can talk together about the video and stuff. I do like that portion. Some people didn't li actually like the premiere either, but I don't understand why. But it's okay because I'm going back to the old school way that I was doing it, what, a month ago? Um, I talked with YouTube and decided against the membership. They get a percentage of the membership. So my charity basically just pays YouTube every month and it wouldn't be 100% charity. I was like, no, I'm not doing memberships. Then <laughs> when I figured that out, I figured out what the whole scheme was. They wanted to get more money. I get it. I was just going to give it away. things rolling good bump up here in the row let's see how the suspension is right here pretty smooth actually it hit that bump nice i figured it would be in low low like that we would have had a uh, a loud bang or something but no that was actually pretty smooth Wait on some of this traffic to roll through and look at our vitals. We're at 40 pounds oil pressure and a 170. Great engine temperature, great oil pressure. I like this truck. I think the only thing you gotta get over is the little rust spots around the lower outer edges and they can be fixed. Now I'm gonna pull back into the lot. Pick it out, the flaws is coming up next. Stick around for that. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, you know what's gonna help me out? Hit like, subscribe, share. <laughs> Let's not hit a Mustang. Get on. Get on out of here. Thanks guys. Later. I'm here to pick out the flaws. Chip scratches, rust, and dents. So you know everything about this vehicle before you come and get it. Now, I have 100 detailed pictures inside out and underneath. Um, I can't get my undercarriage shot. Look at this. <laughs> this thing is low, guys. I mean, that would absolutely destroy my camera. So, give you a little shot here. Oh, let's go ahead and walk around this vehicle. Our front end, a little bit of pitting on your front bumper. Got scuff here inside, a little pitting on top. There's a 
some guys that pulled up wanted to know all about this thing it's thick on this liner I didn't notice going down the side it looked like they covered up some rust with it too so we'll be looking at that now we got a, a lot of chips in the paint job so I'm looking for rust and dents maybe some deep scratches see a big bubble popping up here you can hear it a little rust under there back here you got a hole so yeah we got some rust see it's kind of covered up there dented rusted got some rust back here that's why they put this on there holes around the fender wells not as good as my undercarriage shop but hey I'm not destroying my camera today <laughs> I can't get it up under the truck like I normally do Rust back here. Got some holes back here. midsection dent it's got a patina style paint job I mean it's shiny but it looks old spot in the windshield a little chip here tiny chip here tiny chip up top there the seal around it's older it's got some little cracks little spot there a bit of pitting on the door handle Spots on top here. Cracks. Bed liner looks good. They did a good job with this. Very clean, and the bed doesn't look beat up at all. Open the tailgate here. You got a little bit. It's clean on this side, but you got a little bit of rust on the underside here. So to shut it, you got to pull the handle. Hang on. Now shut. Dent right here, crease on the side. Rust. Down this side now. Same thing, bubbles, bumps, rust. That's what she made out of. <laughs> Scratch there. Same thing, more. Bunch on the side here. A little bubble there.
little bit of bubbling going on on that door handle. Got some chips here. Spot in the middle there. Made it around the outside. Let's go ahead and check out the interior here. This door panel around the door's edges and the bottom. Got some rust at the bottom of the door here. You can see on the inside here. Seat looks awesome. Flooring is nice. I got some bubbles there. I'm gonna say that's rust too. Just because it's got a bunch. The very bottom portion of the doors and stuff. Pretty clean in here. Let's go to our driver's side. top of the door Bubbles in the floorboard there. Didn't have to touch the gas to start it. That's a good thing. Old pressure, engine temperature. They're all good here. Just smooth as can be. What? grass up in here but on down with this hood there we 
Let's go. Guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. I try to pick out all the flaws for you. Um, I do that so you know what you're getting. We'll look under this side one more time. Sorry, I didn't have that undercarriage shot. It's uh, it's impossible with this one right now. <laughs> Detail pictures, financing, and shipping. MapleMotors.com. Go there. Check it out. Hit subscribe. I'll be heading back to grab another one and do another test drive. I'll see you later.